button. Now for this one. Um, I'm also allowed to show this, and this is supposed to be released, but it's just it's a proof of concept, kind of. Um, I've been creating this for Kidsloop. I guess I mentioned that company before. Um, uh, I created the jigsaw puzzle kind of type for them, and uh, it's already available. And um, yeah, this is um, yeah a proof of concept that I've been creating for them them internally so um, they're not sure if they want to release something like that um, they just need like some some basis for discussions and uh, well this is it like, so maybe let's reload that page so you can see what happens if you what, what you, it could be so um, reloading and you see these chickens fall down and um, you see the cursor changes so ah, I can lift that chicken and uh, actually you see that other chicken is is uh, sliding and moving, and that seesaw is actually moving as well. And now it's sliding the other direction. And hmm, if I push down here, oh, interesting. So um, yeah, the the obvious task is to to bring this into balance. So I yeah, you see see one. Uh, it's not a glitch. It's uh, I, I can move that chicken here, and uh, let's try to put it down here. Still sliding, not enough. So. Maybe let's push that down a little more and then place it here maybe. Let's see if that is enough. Still sliding? Okay. Uh, now it turns gray. Uh, this, is just <laughs> uh, this is just to show that, okay, now it's in a kind of a stable position and you're done. So you have, um, to, uh, you, you have completed that exercise. So obviously, um, this is, it's called Seesaw, as you can see in, in the upper uh, left corner. Um, is this is a physics engine running in the background and uh, I created that seesaw and the user can now uh, create two objects, whatever he or she likes and uh, assign different weights or um, den uh, densities to them and uh, of course upload different images and then um, uh, yeah, the student would have to, to bring that into balance. So this is just, just a demo. So let, let, let's look at the options menu. Um, so, this is a little slow because there are a lot of changes on that platform, then HRP gets a little slow. Slow. Uh, you could upload that background image that you saw, so it's not uh, built in. Uh, you could change that, of course. Then you have two images, um, which is, uh, or two objects, so you can upload that image. Um, yeah, I didn't, yeah, that was, let's, let's make that nice cool chicken and you can define the width and the height of that object uh, which is kind of like an internal range for now so 5 to 25 um, you'll see this I think is, it was a percentage of the, the width so this would be um, yeah 10% of the width in this case and uh, the weight so um, this is one and let's have a look at the other one so this is the cute chicken cute chicken and it's a little bigger you saw 15 and 15 and it's okay the it's uh, four times the weight of the, the small chicken so you can set that I mean we could choose it let's say uh, so a little more happens make it a little more difficult probably so let's say six times the weight uh, yeah and then you have the behavioral settings so um, this is basically because this is a physics engine and the physics engine um, in, in the real world you, you don't have a perfectly stable uh, state so uh, even if you don't see it in the real world, um, if you have a seesaw and it looks like nothing is happening, things are still sliding. So um, not, not cool. Yeah, well, well, depending on the level, if you go on the atomic level, you never have a perfectly stable. It, it may look that way in the real in in the macro uh, on the macro level, but yeah. So <laughs> long story short, uh, you can define. Uh, what angle, what um, the stable time is. So if it is stable for five seconds, you are done. And the angle tolerance would be it. So um, what should the difference within that, or the delta uh, within that five seconds be? So in this case, it's one, it's the smallest angle that you can choose for now. So if you want to make it more easy, you could say two degrees or four degrees um, within difference, but within five seconds is still okay. And of course, you can set the time, and um, yeah, these don't even have a function yet. Uh, but we can save it. We increase the weight of the uh, the large chicken, and you will see 
when it falls down, um, but the seesaw is even is, is moving much faster now because yeah, it's heavier. So um, I guess and putting this in in some balance is a little more difficult now. Yeah, still sliding. Yeah, but this is um, yeah, kind of a proof of concept. So we you have that physics engine in H five P now. I don't remember the name actually. Like, I think I created this one year ago. I'm not. Com oh, you can see. Um, I changed it in, or I created that first created this content in November, but I've created the content type before. Um, yeah, so this is basically a physics engine in in H five P, and as a first demo content, um, yeah, in this case. The seesaw we have to to bring it in in balance to make it stable and uh, yeah the idea is if you have anything that you would you say okay this content type is nice but you should do you should add this or add that then feel free to and I noticed on the chat that there have been um, some messages so I will have a look at that now but yeah feel free to think about this and uh, tell me what you think about it and what should be added could be added uh, Kitzler would love to learn. 